This is Veganuri and in today's month I'm going to cook some of the delicious and easy to cook vegan dishes which are my favorite and I'm sure you will love it too. And just because they are vegan dishes it doesn't mean the flavor is compromised. The flavor is stunning and these dishes are packed with loads of flavors. My first dish is my family favorite potato dish which is simple to cook and if you have potatoes ready in your fridge boiled you can cook this dish within 10 minutes. My first dish is my favorite family potato dish which is loved by all of us. Uh, we eat it almost every day. The most important thing while cooking a potato based dish is the potatoes simply because you want to get the base potatoes and in my opinion the red potatoes or the new red potatoes or the gold potatoes are the best because they have a nice waxy texture and they, sh they melt in your mouth right away without having you to bite into it. The other most important ingredient for this dish is hink or asafoetida. This is one of the inexpensive Indian spice which is used for many vegetarian dishes or vegan dishes. You can cook potatoes, lentils, stews or even fish with this. So the asafoetida is very very pungent and it has a beautiful aroma of onions and garlic and it adds tons of flavors in the dish. Asafoetida is easily available in Asian grocery stores uh, or you can buy from Amazon. It's only for three or four pounds. Um, they are available in two different colors. Brown which is a full strength, uh, very pungent, very very strong uh, flavored uh, asafoetida and uh, you don't want to use it more than half a pinch. But I recommend you buying the yellow Asafoetida, which is nicely diluted, balanced with the turmeric and other ingredients, and it will totally transform the dish to a new level. You can and to cook my favorite potato dish, I have boiled potatoes, asafoetida, and I'm going to use garam masala, Kashmiri chili powder, turmeric powder, dry mango powder, cumin seeds, dried fenugreek leaves, green chilies, and vegetable oil. Get your pan hot and add vegetable oil. And once the oil is hot, add asafoetida and let it form and then add cumin seeds. Give it a quick stir. Then quickly add green chilies. You can remove the seeds if you like. Give them a fry for about 30 seconds. Add chili powder. Turmeric powder, these are the and cook them for about 30 seconds. And then go in with your boiled potatoes, just crumble them with the hand, lightly crumble them, and add them in a sauce. And give it a stir. So stir everything together just to coat potatoes. You don't want to stir them too much otherwise they will break very quickly because they are boiled already and they are cooked. Yeah. And then add hot water. This dish is uh, uh, with the thin runny gravy, so make sure that uh, you put the water or adjust the consistency according to your lightness. This might look a very simple dish. The flavors from the asafoetida and the green chili and the fresh coriander that I'm going to add at the end will add into the flavors. And, and in our family, we love to eat with paratha and chapati. This is a phenomenal dish. You can adjust the consistency of the water based on the thickness of the sauce you want. Let it come to a, a gentle boil and then we'll add rest of the ingredients and your dish is ready. The sauce has slightly thickened and now I'm going to add salt. Dried fenugreek leaves, brush them between your hands and put them in. Some dry mango powder and garam masala. Give it a stir. I can already smell a nice aroma. Trust me, guys, 
see the dry mango powder and the kasuri methi, the dry fenugreek leaves that I have added, they totally take the dish to a new level and trust me you will totally enjoy the dish. I can already smell the aromas, they are absolutely amazing. At first this dish might have looked runny to you, look at now, look at the sauce. Starchy potatoes have thickened the sauce which is absolutely amazing with flavours of chilli, the fenugreek, leaves and the esafetida and, and to finish this off I'm going to add some fresh coriander leaves and now give it a stir and you have one of the most amazing potato recipe right in front of you being cooked and trust me it's full of flavors mm. guys you must give this a go you can have it as a side dish or as a main dish and you will not be disappointed So my second vegan recipe for you is the Bombay potato, the most famous Bombay potatoes and for that I'm going to use boiled potatoes, chopped onions, ginger and garlic paste, curry leaves, fresh coriander chopped, fresh tomatoes chopped, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, red chilli powder, turmeric powder, garam masala, dried fenugreek leaves, salt and vegetable oil. Put your pan on the heat and add oil. And when the oil is hot, add cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and let them splutter. You want to hear the sound, and then add chopped onion. And give them a quick fry on a high flame. Keep the flame high because you want to extract that sweetness out of those onions. You want to fry them nicely. Once they get to this color, you can see they they're, they're started to get brown. Add ginger and garlic paste. Cook it on a high flame for about 2 to 3 minutes until the raw flavors are gone. And then add chili powder. Turmeric powder and I'll give it a quick stir. Don't cook them more than 30 to 40 seconds. And then add chopped tomatoes. Keep the flame high and cook the tomatoes until they have disappeared. Keep the flame high because you want a nice uh, mushy sauce for your Bombay potatoes, you want to coat them and for that you want to have all the sediments cooked and uh, the sauce should be mushy. And to help uh, tomatoes cook faster, add salt. Put the flame high and give it a stir. Make sure that you go to the edges because nothing should be sticking at the sides or the bottom or the edges of the pan. And you want to cook the onions and tomatoes until you see the oil separating and you will start to see the masala in the middle will start to get cloggy because we are trying to evaporate all the moisture by cooking down. So after three or four minutes you can see the masala has cooked and uh, the oil has separated and at this stage I'm going to add my curry leaves and give them a stir. Curry leaves will add a, a, a peppery and a very aromatic uh, aroma to the dish, add some garam masala 
and break the potatoes and cut it in. Coat the masala over the potatoes. Cook it for uh, two to three minutes on a high flame and your Bombay potatoes are ready. And just after about two or three minutes, your Bombay potatoes are ready to be served. And to finish off, I'm going to sprinkle some fresh coriander. It, it adds the magic. The fresh coriander leaves always at the end of vegetarian dishes or meat dishes will always add fresh flavor and they coat it nicely and there you have it guys Bombay potatoes ready to be served so these are my two vegan dishes for week January guys I will be bringing more dishes next week and uh, stay tuned and do let me know how you get on give it a go and see you soon